Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, you is the way that leads to life and brought us the way that leads to destruction. Jesus said that he is the only way to the Father. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And that no one can come to the Father but by him. It's a very serious thing. Reincarnation is a lie. The Bible says that um, it's appointed unto men to die once and then the judgment. So that means that you only have one life to live. And then after your breath passes away from your lungs, you are going to stand before God. There is no playing games around with God. There is no playing games. It is a very, very serious matter. Your eternity is a very, very serious thing. And so God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever should believe on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. That he who walks with me shall not abide in darkness any longer, but should abide in the light of light. The light is Jesus. You see, it says in the Bible in John 3, 19, that men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means that every single person, whether or not they realize it or not, whether or not they like it or they don't like it, has fallen short of the glory of God, has offended a very holy God by the thoughts that they thought, every intention of their heart, and every action that they carried out. God is just and the justifier of those who believe in Jesus Christ. That means that God does cannot allow any sin to enter into his kingdom. God says that, um, Jesus says that there is only one chance. Jesus says, you know, he's the only mediator between God and man. That means that you could only go by Jesus to get to the Father. And you might be thinking, well, I, I'm so narrow-minded because I believe that only Jesus leads to God. But if you do believe that all roads lead to God, you're as narrow-minded as me because you want everybody to think the way that you do. And you think that that idea that all roads lead to God is the only right idea. So the Bible says to not do hypocritical judgment to take the speck out of your own eye before taking the speck out of another person's eye. So that does mean that, you know, like, you know, before I came to Christ, I used to watch gay pornography three or four times a day. You know, I used to be in the New Age movement. You know, I used to, uh, I used to be, uh, I used to watch gay pornography three or four times a day. And um, I was completely rebellious against God. When God showed me the truth in his word, I found out the truth, and I got convicted of my sin. I felt uncomfortable with God, and I ran away from Him. So God showed me the gates of hell. And when I saw the, when God pulled my spirit out of my body, and when I saw the gates of hell, I knew that I deserved to be there. And uh, at that point, you know, God thankfully, I repented of my sin. I received the mercy of God. The Bible says, and forsakes them shall have mercy. God does not waver at his word. God always keeps his promises. God never says the things that he will not do. God is faithful and God is true in whatever he does and in whatever he says. So it is very important. You know, not all of God's promises are going to be convenient to you. So, some of you might be wondering, well, why is God not answering my prayer? Well, the thing is that, you know, if you, God's, uh, in 1 John 5, 14, it says that if we pray according to the will of God, He hears us. So you have to be praying according to the will of God. 
or else Jesus Christ is not going to cure you. You know, some people ask me, well, why does bad things happen to good people? Well, they have a point that they're struggling with something, but the thing is that the most innocent person in God's eyes, that was Jesus Christ, experienced the most gruesome way of death in this world. So why can you argue when you sin against God that bad things happen to you? No. If you're smoking, if you're doing drugs, if you're doing alcohol, well, there is suffering for you because you reap the consequences of your sin. If today you're mocking God, well, you know, you're not going to mock God on the day you die. Because what's the letter a man so in that he shall also reap? It's the concept of reaping and sowing. You have to be made in right standing with God. And it's no joke. You see, I speak hardly because I love you guys enough to tell you the truth. Because Jesus says, if you continue in my word, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Jesus Christ is the only truth. And if you want to listen, you can go on my channel to listen to the whole sermon right now. Yeah, so why are you smoking? You know, smoking is a part of sorcery. Hey, hey. You know, Jesus said to judge yes, righteous judgment. No, it's Jesus not said to judge. a spiritual man not to judge. Not be. No, Jesus you said to judge. judge righteous judgment. And I care about your soul. You know, I like how you're wearing that shirt, but we still got a long way. You, you and I still, you know, me too. I got still a long way to go. And you and I. Until, yeah, both both of us still got hey, a long way to good. go. Hey, you do good. Shut up and before. do good. No, no, no. This I is, love you. you see, because. The thing is that God convicts of sin. Whether you're a believer or not a believer, God will still convict you of your unrighteousness. But there is hope. The Bible, Jesus says, Jesus says that if we confess our sins and forsake them, Jesus Christ is faithful and just Repent. to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So that means that we have to confess or take our sins and that embodies repentance. Repentance means that you don't stay dead in your sins. The Bible says that there's two types of death. You could either be dead in Christ or dead and sin. You have to choose to say whom you are going to serve. It is a very serious matter. Eternity is at stake. That's why I'm out here today. It is no joke. God is very serious about your soul. And that's why I'm out here today to warn you about where you're going to spend eternity apart from Christ. Jesus Christ has great plans and promises for your life, but they're not going to be fulfilled until you repent from sin, the wrong things that you've done against God. You know, Jesus Christ suffered the most gruesome death, the most horrific, the most brutal death on the cross because your sins are ugly. Think about this. If you enter into heaven, will you make heaven a prettier place or a nastier place? It's time for you to think about those things very seriously. It's a matter of life or death. Jesus said that, see, I have set before you a way of life and death. Therefore, choose life so that you and your descendants may live. Turn to Jesus today. He is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to be made in right standing with God. He could set you free from any addiction, anything that he considers wrong against God. Jesus is the truth and the only truth. If you believe that all roads lead to God, you're as narrow-minded as me. Because you do believe that there is a God. You believe that that you want everybody to believe the same thing you do and you believe that that's the only right way of thinking. So repent. 
take the speck out of your own eye. Don't do hypocritical judgment. Turn away from sin. Evaluate yourself honestly before God. I failed to do that. God showed me how I repented of my sins. But do not suppress the truth and unrighteousness. Do not suppress the truth and unrighteousness. It's a very serious matter. Your soul, you are created in the image of God. Your body may decay and go to the ground. But your spirit's going to live on for eternity. You see, if you are wrong about... Uh, if I was wrong about reincarnation, or I was atheism was the reality, and I happened to not believe that, I would have no loss. But if you fail to believe that Christianity was true, you'll have a big loss because your soul will be tormented in hell for the rest of eternity. The Bible says that the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they shall have no rest day nor night. Hell is eternal conscious torment. Because of your sins, turn away from sin, and the remedy of sin is only Jesus Christ. Turn to him today. He is the answer to all of the questions that you have in life. Jesus is the truth. He is the way to life. Turn to him. Turn to the cross. Repent for your sins. Amen.